Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to talk to you about how to increase your influence, your impact, and your income in 2020. Let me know down below if you have already got a visibility plan in place or are you just going to wing it? Because often we get to the new year and we sit down and we think, right, how am I going to attract more clients? What am I going to do next that's going to bring the money in? What is the next shiny object? I remember when video was the next big thing back in 2010 and people are still saying, you know, video is, is the way to go. So if you're joining me, let me know down below. Um, do you have a plan, a visibility plan to attract more clients and increase your income and to be more visible or are you just going to wing it and don't be afraid because you know I have in the past winged it many times uh, but now I have a visibility plan in place that I teach my clients in the videopreneur school and I want to share with you in this live this morning my top 10 tips to be more visible in 2020 so please get a pen and paper and put them down below. Hello, Marie, thank you for joining me. I'll be trying to watch the comments on Facebook and be on Zoom at the same time. So hopefully I can get all of your, um, all of your comments and questions. But if you don't have time to watch the live or you're watching the replay and you wanna reach out to me and just have a chat about the Videopreneur School, um, I would love to have a chat with you and find out what your goals are for 2020 and how we can uh, make them happen because everything that I'm going to be teaching you in this Facebook Live, I have implemented and um, also the members of the Videopreneur School have implemented to attract their ideal clients, increase their um, influence, their impact and their income. So get your pen and paper ready. So um, basically, of course, number one, I'm going to say do video and uh, but also when we're talking about doing video, it's not just winging it here and there and not having a plan. So that is the number one thing I get all of my clients to do is to do a content plan for the whole year. So what you basically do is to get a pen and paper and write down the months of the year, January to December, and write a sub, write a topic or a theme for each month of the year. So magazines do this. I had a magazine, um, Mums in Business, that we ran for two years. We have a theme for the month. So, for example, if you are um, somebody who is in the health and wellness industry, you may have a theme for January on how to increase your energy because we're probably really tired at the end of the year and we've gone into the silly season and they stayed up having late nights, partying, etc. And then we need to know how to get more energy to get back into our business. Uh, and you might think all of these things are really common sense. People already know them. So why would I actually share them on video? So um, we need reminding. That's why. And we need that motivation and that um, that little bit of a kick, you know, to, to get us into action. So with your themes for the year, you'll have a theme for each month and then for each month, you will then put subtopics. So four to five topics, depending on, I, I always say put five topics if you can, because some months of the year have five. And just write down, so if you've, if your month for January was how to get more energy, then your subtopics might be, you know, how to, uh, to increase your water intake. And that sounds really simple too, but a lot of people even struggle with drinking enough water. It could be to go to bed earlier and, and to start a nighttime routine so that you can get up earlier and you um, are more, en more energised in the morning. Um, you could do a, um, a topic around how to attract more clients and then share four strategies over that month, how to attract more clients. You could do how to reduce stress or how to write better copy to attract more clients. Veronica, have you copywriting? <laughs> so that basically you're giving some information, but you're then broadening out um, that and elaborating on each of those tips. So let me know in the comments below if you're finding this helpful. Um, if you're just joining me, let me know where you're joining from. Um, but I will be sharing my 10 top tips to be more visible in 2020. So hello, Wendy. Good morning, beautiful girl. Thank you for joining me. So number two is to create a series of video tips. So these are one to two minute tips. 
so that you have a library of uh, videos that people can go and watch, whether that's on YouTube, Facebook, your website, um, in your Facebook group, you could create um, some tips for that. So write down on a pen and paper all the things that you can teach and go and pre-record some short tips. They could be one to two minute tips. Ideally, they say three to four minutes is the ideal one for Facebook, but then you can say a lot in a minute. In my 30 day video challenge, we have people come in and we cap the videos at two minutes because I believe you can say what you need to say unless you're doing something like this, a Facebook Live and doing a training or something as well. So write down all the things that you can teach so that you can then start planning and scheduling a filming day. So number three is to schedule in Facebook Live trainings or Q&A sessions. And you can do these on Facebook or you can take people off Facebook and do it on Zoom. Um, I have a QA and a session every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. And I also have a Q&A at 11 a.m. every Wednesday. These are Sydney times for my clients in the Videopreneur School. They have got me as their mentor in my group program so that all the things that here I'm suggesting uh, we can work through together and implement and they can ask me questions on whether it's a techie thing or whether they need to brainstorm about some ideas and get that extra help. Um, number four is to run your own challenge. Now, I've had people say to me, challenges are overdone. Um, I, I think it's, you know, too many people are doing them now. It's it's just washed out now. Obviously, some people might not know I've been running the 30 day video challenge nearly five years now, and it has positioned me um, as a video marketing strategist and people refer people to me now. So it works and it doesn't work for everybody because you need to have that strategy. You need to know, you know, what is the right challenge to do and how to funnel people into that challenge and how then to take people from that challenge into a paid program, whether that's a group program or one-on-one. -on -one. I specifically teach people how to set up their group program so that they've got um, their own signature program, but they deliver it to many people. That increases your, their income and increases their reach. And um, hello, Susie, thank you for joining us. And uh, these are things that we sit and we discuss uh, during our mentoring sessions as well and our Q&A calls in the Videopreneur School because often people think, oh, I'll do a five-day challenge on this. And one of my clients started a challenge. Uh, actually, she was a member of the 30-day video, uh, video challenge and she started a, a challenge and she wondered why people didn't really you know, come into the challenge. It was, it, there was only a few people that came into it. It wasn't very engaging. She, she couldn't then monetize and, and upsell to her next program. So we had to have a strategy session and discuss maybe why uh, people weren't coming into a challenge and how we could tweak it with the skills set that she has and then be able to then attract more, um, more clients, but in particular paying clients, people who are prepared to actually purchase your programs and your mentoring. So um, that's something that I suggest a five day free challenge is a good little test to see if um, people are interested. And yes, there's other ways that you can do it just with a, a, with a checklist. I could have created, and I often do, I've got many um, top tips, five top tips, or my seven day Facebook live content plan, or my 30 day video prompts. And they're things that I can just offer as a free gift on my Facebook lives and um, start building relationships with people. And those people who actually opt in for them, you can tell they're your target market. They want to be more visible. They want to make a difference in the world. So they're interested in video. So then you start to build a relationship with them. And yes, we've been told have a website, have a funnel, all that sort of stuff. When you're just starting out or um, look, I'm not just starting out, but I don't funnel people through my website in a big email campaign. I've predominantly used Facebook to build my community. It has worked for me. It is where I've um, got my, all of my clients from and monetize my knowledge and expertise. So that is what I teach in the Videopreneur School, as well as having when, you bring, when you've brought the money in and then you can um, put those funds towards a website or towards, you know, getting the help that you need in your business, then you can move to that sort of thing. Um, but it's not necessary. I, I know people out there who've gone and spent $8,000 on a funnel and it hasn't worked. 
So, you know, these things that I'm teaching you aren't going to cost you a lot of money. In fact, a lot of it you can implement at no cost at all other, other than your time. So number five is to reach out to people who have a Facebook group or run a networking group or an organisation, whether that's an MLM or, say, a, you know, a real estate um, business. I do training, video training for real estate officers and I'll go into their sales meeting or I can zoom in and teach them um, things about video marketing. So you have to put yourself out there too and reach out to people and offer your free training and not be afraid to, you know, connect with the admins of Facebook groups or maybe you pop in there with your um, short one to two minute tips on a regular basis and people get to know, like, and, and, and trust you and therefore, you know, want to reach out to you and say, can you provide a free training for my organisation? And that will put you in front of more people and give you more speaking gigs. So I often have people reach out to me and say, Kate, hey, can you come and do a free training in our Facebook group mail, whether that's an MLM or whether that's just a, a Facebook group for business people. And uh, and then that's how I start to then build my community as well and, and get more clients from that. Um, so number six is to use Facebook stories. So we have Facebook stories on our profile, business page and Facebook groups. It is something that people aren't leveraging. It's not necessarily something that, if you post something on Facebook, you post it also up on your story. I mean, you can. And I've had a client of mine say, I don't look at stories because it's exactly the same thing that's on their feed. But when you post in your stories, it goes out to the public. So it will go out to even beyond your contacts that you have on Facebook, beyond your people that you've made friends with, and you will start to get a new uh, audience out there. So if you start putting up, it can be a video tip, I would suggest that you know, just make it short, 30 seconds to a minute max. You can put images up there as well. You can put links. Um, if you've got it activated on your business page, you can also have a swipe up link that will take people to your website or to your online calendar to book a call with you. So you don't necessarily have to have 10,000 followers on your business page like I do on my pages because I do have clients who've only got 1,200 followers and they have got that um they've got a link where you can swipe up in stories and take people straight to a landing page. So it's very underutilized. So use these stories, it's free space and stories sit at the top of your newsfeed. It's the first thing people see when they come online. And it, it also comes up when they scroll down, um, scroll down the feed too. Now, Instagram have stories, most of you know that too. And now YouTube have stories as well. And I haven't tried that out yet. But YouTube have stories that last for seven days, apparently. So depending on where you play and where your platform is, and a lot of people, you know, say, where should I be posting my videos? Most of my videos are on Facebook because that's where my target market are. And I don't have 24 seven to be posting on multiple platforms and then responding to every single comment and message. So that all takes time too, if you think about it spreading yourself too thin is not going to work in your favor either. So master a platform where your target market is and um, deliver your content there and, and build relationships with people. Good morning, Kay. Thank you for joining me. Number seven is to conduct interviews. So people conduct interviews with people who will give value to your community. So I will do interviews with business women who will give value to my community. So whether that's for the 30 day video challenge or on my Facebook page, Mums in Business Australia, where we're, I've got my clients on there at the moment doing a weekly videos on their expertise. And that is increasing their credibility, increasing their online presence, uh, giving them the confidence to then, you know, some of them have already got their own online shows. Others are just coming on and um, getting the practice and, um, you know, learning how to use this technology. So you can either conduct your own interviews where you bring in other experts and they obviously will then share it out to their network and that can get your your name out there yourself. So you're helping somebody and giving them a platform, but it's also getting your name out there. So it's a win-win for everybody. And then, um, and a win for those who are getting value out of, you know, you sharing that person's knowledge and expertise as well. And then also put yourself forward for interviews, whether that's uh, interviews on other people's Facebook lives or podcasts, you know, 
just reach out to people and get started and you write a list of people that you can interview for 2020 and start scheduling them in and booking them in and you might think well how am I going to make money out of that a lot of people think well I do all these videos but there's no money and that's why you need a mentor to you know to brainstorm with you and discuss well how do I leverage that mail and then how do I monetize being visible and these are all the things that I teach in the videopreneur school so number nine is to create your own signature masterclass. So what I mean by that, that is a paid masterclass where if, if someone is going to come to an offline workshop, as we know, to hire a venue, to drive to a venue. Hello, good morning, Beth. Um, it takes time. It takes a, immense energy. It takes money to hire out a venue. And then we've got to get bums on seats. And when we do, when we master video and when we um, are comfortable with the technology and the only way we're going to get comfortable with the technology is to just put ourselves out there and do it. Um, but I can hold your hand through this and I've held, my, held the hand of many of um, our members in the Videopreneur School who had been in tears before not knowing how to use the technology and are now comfortably doing online workshops or you can call them your signature masterclass. That's what I like to I like to call them the one thing that you want to be known for. So for me, I teach people how to increase their, their um, influence, their income and income using the power of video. And then I then, after doing my, um, my masterclass, I will then offer them to have a call with me to see if we are right fit to work together in the videopreneur school because not everyone will be ready and some people I will just um, offer them to come into my next 30-day video challenge and get confident on camera and clear about their message and their target market before we go to the next stage. But in saying that, some of you do know, before I started my own web TV show back in 2010, I had never done a video. I just launched, <laughs> put myself out there. And yes, I cringe at the videos now, but it's not about me. It's about the people that really need our help. So I always remind people then um, uh, to get out of their own way. So number 10 is to create your signature program, your signature group program. So this is coming together with all of your knowledge and expertise. There's many, many programs out there, but what I believe, and I don't sell any of my programs without me, apart from the 30 day video challenge where I am in there um, on a regular basis doing Q and A's anyway, um, my paid programs are with me. So you get me either one-on-one -on -one or you get me in a group program where you come on to Zoom. Uh, I do two sessions, as I said, on a Tuesday night at 7 p.m. and a Wednesday at 11 a.m. because too many people get stuck um, when they buy programs and then they just go into overwhelm and melt down and they, and they don't finish it. So... Um, that is where I differentiate myself as a mentor to offer that um, hand-holding, so to speak, and also the networking and the collaborations that go on in the Videopreneur School as well with, you know, we had um, uh, the International Women's Day Summit this year and I interviewed all of my clients as well as some really credible speakers who had spoken at my uh, events for empowered mums over the years and you know we reached 30,000 people I think 35,000 views on that without paid advertising I think I did one $20 boost which I, I, I thought why did I even do that why did I bother because the whole idea of doing it was to see if Facebook works because so many people were saying I can't get the reach on Facebook Facebook doesn't work I'm doing videos I'm not attracting my ideal clients that's because you're not clear about who they are you're not clear about your offerings and uh, and you you don't have a strategy in in growing your community and and having a funnel so to speak so there are things that I can help you with and I hope those tips helped give me a, a yes below if, if you got value out of today's um, training. And um, tell me what you're going to implement in 2020. And I've put a link above for those of you, if you'd like to connect with me, just to have a chat about your visibility plan for 2020 and uh, what we do in the Videopreneur School to implement all of these things that I teach my clients to increase their influence, their impact, Act and our income. And I also work with PayRight, which is a finance company to give you payment plans uh, up to 18 months. So there's no excuse about not having the money to get started with your visibility plan for 2020. 
Um, and we can also um, professionally film your online program or your videos for social media or your website too, because my son is a professional videographer. So there are things that we can help you with. So go out there and shine bright because the world needs you and you are amazing. Bye, everyone.